Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. It is Queen of Queen She Me and today I'm coming to you guys with a natural hair update. If you guys have been on my channel for quite some time and you guys know my last update was like months ago. If you're ago. new to my channel, welcome. Thank you for joining. If you haven't done so already, please hit the subscribe button so that way you can be notified when I upload new content here on my channel. Okay you guys, I have a list here on my phone and I just want to go through it I don't want to keep you guys here for a very very long time so just a little background on my channel pretty much and on my own natural hair journey I am Queen Esther this is my channel Queen she me I initially started my channel because I just decided to start documenting my own natural hair growth and I wanted to actually see like how my hair would actually change and grow and develop over you know the years to come so I started my channel in November of 2014 and that's when I started my transitioning journey as well. I transitioned until April 5th of 2015. I big chopped on Easter Sunday. Just got up one morning and I was just like, I'm just ready to cut it. So I will leave the link down below if you're interested in seeing my big chop. And also too, you can see my girlfriend's big chop as well. So I'll leave her video. So I've been pretty much natural going on for almost two years. And I really do love my hair. I just love everything about it. Honestly, I don't make it do anything that it really doesn't want to do. That's like the best advice that I can give to anyone who has wanted to go on a natural hair journey. Do not force your hair to do anything that you don't want to do. And me saying that right now is kind of like me having an epiphany because if you guys know, I've been trying to do the perm rod sets for like the last two weeks. You guys, I have just not been able to get it down. When I transition, I use perm rods with no problems. I use them regularly. And now that I'm natural, it's like my hair just does not want to be bothered Okay, you guys, it. so I have been natural for pretty much almost two years now. Again, it will be two years coming this April of 2017. And I'm so excited, you guys. Um, okay. So let's just start off with my wash day. Okay, so I only wash my hair once a week. It used to be on Sunday, but I just recently changed it to Saturdays. Reason being is because I wanted to a lot more time to actually deep condition because you guys know I love to overnight deep condition. That's just my thing. My hair loves it. I love it. Yeah, and it just works for me. And then the next day on Sunday, I could actually get up rinse my hair and then actually take time out to just go ahead and style it and allow it to air dry as well because I do not use heat on my hair I'm one of those naturals I just don't use heat I don't feel the need for it and yeah unless I'm using my hooded dryer but in a sense I have the shower cap on so my hair te technically isn't directly in any kind of heat Okay, as far as what do I actually do on my wash days, you guys know I have endless wash day videos and I actually need to just create a playlist called wash day. That's it. <laughs> I have so many wash day videos and I will leave them listed down below for you guys, but I just mainly use a co-wash. I only shampoo as needed and a co-wash is when you use a conditioner to actually cleanse your hair per se, um, but for the most part, a conditioner only as moisturization back into your hair but if you really need to get in there and like really clean your scalp and get it really really like clean clean go on with the shampoo just make sure that it's sulfate free paraben free it doesn't have all those crazy chemicals make sure that you are actually reading the label i do read the label on my products it's just a second nature habit now like as soon as I pick up a product, I'm looking at the ingredients because it really does make a difference on your hair so again, my wash day only consists of, again, co-washing, a shampoo, and then I will actually go in with a rinse out conditioner. And I'll just apply that while I'm actually still in the shower, just so that when my hair can still be getting that extra little treatment. And then I'll rinse that out. And then after doing that, I actually go in with my deep conditioner, and then I'll do that overnight. Pretty simple, I feel, because I do everything in the shower. I'm a natural who likes to wash their hair in the shower. You will always see that 9 times out of 10 in all of my videos. It's just easier that way for me. And plus, my hair is so long, especially when it gets wet. Oh my gosh. When it gets wet, it just 
it just hangs it just gets heavy so i just like to actually just wash my hair in the shower it works for me just do about four sections sometimes i'll do about six all depending on how i'm feeling that day or what my hair actually needs to be divided okay for. so i've told you guys about my wash day so next is pretty much i'm just gonna go about pretty much like my hair growth and how i actually maintain and keep my hair so um my hair growth is actually doing very well you guys um i this past weekend i actually did trim off about an inch or so if you guys notice like i don't have all like that little extra bit that usually really hangs down like to my eyelashes this is actually just stretched today but see it's usually my hair usually hangs down here but see when i trimmed it this past weekend i said no i'm just gonna cut a little bit more i just off. need to cut it because with it being like the winter you know finally it's gonna be transitioning into spring soon kind of weather my hair is just acting weird so yeah you guys so i trimmed my hair and i actually like how it actually like turned out today i thought i had actually cut a little bit too much off but I just really didn't pull my hair out. I just kind of let you it know. I did cut my hair recently, but prior to that, I had still been trimming my hair. I trim my hair only on an as needed basis. So for the most part, like when I put my hair in the two strand twist, that's like the perfect time for me to actually trim my hair. And I'll do it the next day after my hair is actually dry because you're supposed to cut your hair on dry hair and not wet hair because you know your wet hair shrinks up. So you know you may be cutting it wrong. You know you don't want to do that. I even noticed that I started having split ends and my hair was like literally split like that. I mean it looked like a Y. I was just like that's fucking crazy <laughs> that was another reason why i trimmed my hair you guys all right so i know you guys are probably like is she still on those hair affinity pills yes i am still on my hair affinity pills and this is actually month two now i'm not gonna lie i've missed some days these actually have been making my hair grow and my hair i think that's why it's been like so shiny before taking this like my hair always has a shine to it but and I think that a lot of it was due to like the natural oils I put on my hair. But since taking the hair affinity pills, you guys, my hair has been actually, you know, kind of softer. And I've noticed that it has like a lot of shine to it. And I noticed too that like I haven't really been having a lot of shedding. Some people said they seen shedding when taking the hair affinity pills. Honestly, my hair has barely shed. Like even on wash day, like I'll still get hair, but like it's nothing compared to what it used to be so, so you take the hair fendi pills once a day you take two pills daily you drink with the eight fluid ounce glass of water and then you make sure you eat it with like some food as well so you i mean not eat it with some food but you want to take these pills with some food you don't want to take these on an empty stomach that's what i'm trying to say and so i've increased the amount of water i intake on a daily um first of all i just wanted to do that just for my overall health it has really been a major contributor to my skin um i still have scars i still get breakouts every now and again but my skin compared to last year is in a better place so it just goes to show like when you start to try to consciously take care of your body it will also take care of your hair too you have to work from the inside out that is very important so i told you guys in my first video for the hair affinity pills that i will be taking them for three months okay my hair's doing fine my hair's doing fine i mean I believe the hair fanny pills have contributed to the growth and health of my hair. I can say that and I do believe that because again my hair does have a nice shine to it. My hair is like not dull and I make sure that I wash it. My hair is on a routine. I'm not anal about my hair care but I do make sure that I keep a regimen with my hair because once you break a regimen your hair will start to like revert and go crazy because it's used to having a you know routine. I will recommend this to anybody like and I do think I want to try their edge serum so that's probably why I want to stop taking the pills because on um, the pills are like almost thirty dollars a month you guys so that's why I have the code below so that way you guys can save some money off if you want to try it if you have any questions leave them down below as well but yeah at the month three I probably will not be taking the hair for you hair affinity Since pills I'm anymore. cutting the ends you know my hair looks a lot healthier as you guys can see but I have noticed that the texture is changing on my hair. Okay, so when I initially big chop, I knew it was gonna be like a three, a type three, a type four texture. 
um i was like okay i have two textures going on here so like you know i had like a 4a you know 3c 3b ish thing going on back here I could get away with like perm rods so I did that a lot when I was transitioning as I stated earlier you guys now I just noticed it and I noticed it this past weekend and I was like my hair just doesn't seem to be coiling up as much as it used to not saying that it didn't have a curl but I just noticed that something about it I know changed. people say a lot of times that when your hair starts getting longer that the um, texture will change or whatever in the definition because it's getting heavier and denser like it's getting longer it's getting that length and weight so it starts feeling you know kind of stretched out so I was like I was like that could be a possibility that's probably what's going on with my hair so I'm not really worried but yeah, I didn't front, notice it it didn't used to be like really loose like that it used to be like kinky -er. it used to be like really shrunken like i used to always have to use a bobby pin to pin the front down but as you guys can see i don't have any bobby pins in here <laughs> it's just my hair i don't have a band on it i don't have anything on it it's just my hair literally. so as far as the hair texture changing you guys i really do think in the back it's starting to be like a 3b because it's starting to look a lot looser like it really is like a looser curl pattern back here i can tell the difference and then up here near the front it's starting to be like a 3c but i still have like a 4a ish going on at the roots but for the most part i think it's starting to be like a three like a 3c 3b and a little bit of 4a it's changing though so the only way I really think I'm going to know is when I do a wash and go. And I think I'm going to do that really soon. Probably like when it's like a good warm day where I, I can actually just wear my hair out and not worry about, you know, getting sick and actually getting a cold. Because I don't want to get sick just trying to do a wash and go. I can't So another it. thing that I've been making sure as far as speaking about my hair texture is incorporating protein treatments. So yeah, so I started using the Cream of Nature Intensive Treatment again on my hair. You use it only once a month because you want to be careful because some people, your hair might be protein sensitive and you have to be careful about that because you don't want to damage your hair. You really don't want to do that. You have to also be careful about alcohols and glycerins, like all that stuff too much of it will like really damage your hair and you don't yeah, want to so do that i'll be converting to probably again wash and go soon when the weather starts getting a little bit warmer but um yeah the weather is changing and so you have to also change like your hair care routine as well because you just can't keep putting a whole bunch of products on your hair when you necessarily may not even be needing all that because the weather may just be fine and it may just be giving your hair enough moisture where you don't have to put all that stuff on your hair because I know for me, living in Florida, 9 times out of 10, it's humid. Like, it was 52 this morning, but it was 80% humidity. And it was humid and cold outside. No lie. So, I didn't have to do much of my hair. I just needed to make sure I didn't fluff it out too much because it was going to frizz up. And as you guys can see, it still did in a sense, but... You have to also pay attention to like where you live, you guys. So it really makes a difference on your hair. Alright, and as far as like hairstyles on my natural hair journey, you guys, you guys know I am a twist out junkie. I love twist outs, like that's just my thing. Um <laughs> I just love them. Like the first time I ever seen anyone do a twist out on YouTube, I was just like, that's gonna be my go-to style. And I think I spoke that to existence because it's like now. I'm trying to branch out a little bit and it's like oh uh -uh, bitch get back where are you going we're not gonna do that we're not gonna try that out yeah you guys but i just love my natural hair i just love it i just freaking freaking love it um i was speaking about natural hair i was thinking about you know natural hair in the workplace you guys and if you want me to do a video on that let okay, me know you guys so just a quick rundown again about the natural hair update I wash my hair once a week. I co-wash mainly shampoo as needed. I use a rinse out conditioner, a deep conditioner as well. When I go in to set and style my hair, I use a leave-in, an oil, and a cream. I use the lock method. I will be trying out the LCO method, which is the liquid cream and oil method, to see how my hair will actually set and style differently. I do not use heat on my hair at all. If I do use heat, it's only by my hooded dryer when I just want 
want to go for a really really good deep conditioning session but for the main part I just use my own natural body heat and I just decondition usually overnight for about 12 to 24 hours my hair is doing fine it's growing as you guys can see I did cut it I cut about an inch off this past Saturday and I'm still taking my hair affinity pills I will be ending month two this week and beginning month three next Monday Along with my hair growing as well, you guys, I have been incorporating a protein treatment to also make sure that it can help with the new texture that my hair is trying to transition into. So I have always been a type 3C, 4A, but now I'm looking like I have a type 3B, 3C, and 4A hair texture. Including all of that as well is also my hairstyling process. For the time being, I will still continue to do my twist outs and I will also continue to wear my AKA mini twist or smedium So twist. I hope this pretty much brought all of you guys up to speed on my natural hair journey because a lot of you have been following me on Instagram and been liking away on my pictures and interacting with me and even asking me questions. I have been loving it. It's just really just been filling my heart up with a lot of joy Joy, that you guys have really just been interacting with me and I just I just have been thanking God for it like you guys just do not understand if you guys have any more questions that I didn't cover in this video please leave them down below for me in the comment section or you can send them to me on Twitter make sure to use the hashtag chat with queen so that way I can be able to find your question so that way I can feature you feature you in my new series coming in February okay so yeah make sure you subscribe don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and comment down below okay thank you so much for watching my king and queens and i will see you guys in my next upload Mwah. be blessed you guys